tree swallows are, are closely related to barn swallows, and like all swallows, essentially, they are insect eaters that forage on the wing in the air. They're aerial feeders. They're very accomplished flyers. Um, they zoom around. They, you'll often see them uh, over the surface of a pond if there are emerging insects that are born in the water, you know, midges of one sort or another. Uh, they will feed on mosquitoes, that kind of thing. But, you know, the atmosphere is full of what is often described as aerial plankton. In other words, there are lots of small insects in the air that, that people don't normally think about. Um, young spiders, for example, as they hatch out of their little egg masses, they, they put out a silken parachute and they balloon through the sky. So there's lots and lots of, of small spiders in the air, that kind of thing. Um, but unlike a lot of swallows, tree swallows do also feed on berries. And one of the things that allows them to linger longer in the north than most other swallow species, that is to say into the fall and sometimes even into the early winter, um, they can feed on particularly bay berries and further down on the Atlantic seaboard uh, on the mid-Atlantic coast there's something called myrtle which is very much like our bay berry and tree swallows will often sit and, and feed on bay berries and myrtle berries and, and can subsist on that very nicely something that most other swallows don't do most other swallow species are actually um, completely confined to feeding on insects most of which is captured on the wing so tree swallows mostly do do insects of various sorts um, during the warmer weather, but they do have the ability to uh, exploit these often coastal growing things like bayberries and myrtle berries.